Hi Bunny! Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a new video. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to convert a basic cake from pick and pay or any shop for 40 bucks into this marvelous, beautiful cake that could be $500 or $300 but for just less than 200 bucks for 140 bucks. So stay tuned and let's get into this video. So what do you need? You need a cone. You need a bunch of chocolates i used um five chocolates get whatever cheap chocolate you can find in a shop um you need some you need the cake you need the ice cream and did i mention the cone also my cone did end up breaking so i ended up using a different cone from that one i was initially gonna use the uh, cones from milky way those are five dollars those are called the sweet cone or sweet cone or something but uh, mine ended up breaking so i just used a regular pink cone lucky enough for me my mom had um, cones at home <laughs> but yeah um you will need a cone and the cones are just five bucks at milky way and the cake and then you'll need a plate and uh, um, a bowl and yeah you need your tools that you'll be using obviously the spoon or scoop or ice cream scoops if you have those nice fancy things you can use those ones but we don't have those so we're just using basics um so um the first step we did was separate the top layer of the cake from the bottom layer of the cake so you want to buy a cake that has two layers if you want to do an ice cream cake like we did you want to buy a cake that has two layers um the next thing we did was just uh, remove the the icing yeah we removed the icing from the middle of the cake and we put that away um please do not throw away your icing you can still use it you can use it for something else we were having a birthday party so we ended up making cupcakes and we used this icing to decorate the cupcakes that we made that day but um yeah we just removed the icing we left a little bit of the icing and we just applied that um on the bottom cake and also applied a few of that at the top on the top on the top piece eh? so we applied it to the top piece and to the bottom piece um i don't think this was um, a necessary step it's just a step we took we don't even know why we did it by the way this was not this is not a tutorial also this is just me showing you what i did to achieve the cake that i did it was a whole trial and error situation so um yeah but anyways uh we just um we're gonna just put the now the the, the icing on that area as well um you can watch that and yeah Okay, next step, the most exciting part of it all is basically adding the ice cream to the cake. Who wouldn't be excited about that? I don't know. But um, we just scooped the ice cream according to the uh, different, different, different layers. So layers, flavors. Um, yeah. So we scooped that. Uh, we took the, we only used the two, we only used um, the vanilla and the strawberry flavors. We, because we wanted the middle of the cake to be pink and white, right? Um, also, the cake was kind of melted. Like our cake was not like all the way frozen. It was like, Ha ah, the top part of the cake was a little bit melted but the middle was fine it was still frozen but the top the, the top was just slightly melted but we still used it anyways which i think was our mistake you don't want to use the, uh, the ice cream if it's um, a little melted you want to use it as frozen as possible because we were also not um, gonna eat the cake here we had to transport the cake from here to my auntie's place where um, the birthday party was being held so um, a lot of melting happened and but yeah um, overall the whole mess that came from the melting and all of that is what actually made the cake even more cuter. So um, don't mind well, the melt and don't mind the mess. Just go ahead, apply your ice cream however way you want it. And at the end of the day, the mess is what made the cake beautiful. But if you want a clean and neat looking 
type of cake then mm, you might want to use your ice cream a little bit more frozen so once we're done with that we just put back the top layer of the cake we put that back on and then we put the cake back into the freezer yeah we put the cake back into the freezer um so um the next thing we did is basically um separating the chocolate the chocolate pieces and putting it all into one bowl so initially we were going to melt this chocolate in the microwave at my house before we got to my auntie's place where the party was being held so we were gonna carry the cake from my place to my auntie's place that was our initial thought and then we re quickly realized that if we did that would be late for the party first of all and secondly the cake would probably melt before we got there so um we did this but then we ended up putting all the chocolate in a plastic bag and took it home carried the cake home i'm uh, not home but to my aunties so um uh, yeah but what you need to do is just separate the the the, the chocolates into the chocolate into the smaller chocolate bars yeah? yeah if that makes sense guys i hope it makes sense uh but yeah that's what we did and we ended up just pl placing that into um an ice an ice plastic bag if you know <laughs> If you know what plastic bag ice comes in, those kasi wandula ice, eh? then you'll know what I mean. But yeah, uh, when we got to my auntie's, we boiled some hot water. Not, we boiled some water. <laughs> and then we put the chocolate into the boiling water and we just, I just used a spoon to stir the chocolate just so it can melt or it can mix around. And yeah, just making sure that everything is nice and melted. We just used hot water, we didn't use the microwave at this point. Okay guys, so now you just put away the uh, chocolate so that it can cool down a bit because you don't want to burn your hand. So um, just put the chocolate down to the side so it can cool down a little bit. And while the chocolate is cooling down, we just, we're just we just removing the icing on the top of the cake. And we're not throwing away our icing again, guys. We're just putting it in a plastic bag. And excuse the vlogging excuse the footage um we were vlogging the day as well so um stay tuned for friday's video because friday's video is the vlog of this day and it was an amazing vlog you want to watch that vlog so i'm so sorry guys for the camera being all over because it's my sister um vlogging at this point so um eh, yeah sorry about the footage guys but we're just um we just removed the icing from the top of the cake that's basically all we did at this point and um like i said the the cone we initially bought bought the sugarcane cone we bought um was broken so lucky enough my mom had cones lying around i'm sure it's for her babies for her babies and her and ice cream whatever they like ice cream so um we ended up using one of her cones so if you have a cone lying around at home cones have at home then it means you wouldn't even have spent on that it would have been cheaper even for you but um the next thing we're doing now is just dripping the chocolate onto the cake right we're not dripping but we're just yeah dripping putting the chocolate on top of the cake and what you want to do is take the cone and dip the cone into the chocolate um not the whole cone but just the the, the part of the cone that touches that, that where the ice cream goes right um it doesn't matter how far up you take it but um you just wanted to want to make sure it's like a neat straight line or so because you want it to look as if the chocolate is coming from the cone into the into into the cake onto the cake yeah like it's dripping out of the cone onto the cake and it will all, and then when you're putting the cone into the chocolate you want to put it in at an angle and not straight down when i put it in at least at a 40 degree angle do not put it down straight or at 90 degree or whatever. just put it in at a 40 to 90 degree angle but don't put it in straight all the way in and then after that you just take a spoon and then you let the chocolate drip off the cake you know you let gravity do its thing so all you do is just touch 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 areas there and let the chocolate drip down the cake because it's melted so um it will do its thing okay
Okay, guys. So um, this is one of the things that I didn't include in the what you need first video, but this is just sprinkles. <laughs> oh my goodness, my cousin just removed the, <laughs> the cone from the cake. Guys, there's so much happening. I'm so sorry, but you'll get the point. The video is very simple. The cake is very simple. You'll get the point. But what we did is just put the sprinkles into our into my hand. I put the sprinkles into my hand, and I just let it drip onto the cake or so like i don't know how to explain this but it's like it's very simple the cake is messy so there's no technique to eat there's no steps to eat just do it just 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 let your hands do the things you know let the, the your hands do the magic okay <laughs> no i'm just kidding but yeah guys it's it, there's really no one way to do this there's no one way that if we did it a certain way it will all come out that way but you know, it's just those things in life where you just know, like, your ancestors tell you how much to put, <laughs> how much not to put, where to put. Like, the ancestors do the business. So, um, we put the sprinkles on top of the cake and on the sides of the cake. And, yay, voila, you're done with your ice cream cake. And, basically, the next step from this is just to put the cake into the, um, what is this? Put the cake into the freezer and... Yeah, and guys, um, if you are going to be putting candles into the cake, you might want to do this before you put it in the freezer. But this is our final results, guys. This is our cake. This is how it turned out. It's a beautiful mess, and it's, a, it's beautiful. It was so tasty, and it was really nice, guys. So um, I'm going to insert a, a video of me eating the cake because it was, it was really nice. Um, I could probably just say that maybe the part of biting on, on the cake because of the ice cream, that was like, you know, you had to be strategic with that. But in all, whatever, all in all, the cake was really nice and it was, it was beautiful. It was awesome. So yay. We're taste testing the cake, um, the ice cream cake. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. It's nice. It's really nice. Alright Bunny, that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.